Today I'm at Mifflin Pizza here in beautiful Mifflinville to check out their New York style pizza and their Stromboli. All right, here we go. This box is steaming hot. Let's see what it looks like inside. Oh yeah, it's glorious. All right, so nicely cooked, beautiful golden brown here. Let's pick a slice. Pick that up. Oh wow, there's a steam coming off it. Beautiful. All right. We're in serious risk of burning ourselves here, but we don't take any precautions. Just dig right in, right? I've regained my composure here. Nice, crisp bottom. The cheese, ridiculously delicious. Got a nice creamy melt to it. Good saltiness and richness to it. The sauce is like so beautifully balanced. It's It's got this savoriness to it, this vibrance, and this like hint of sweetness in a good way. Not sugar sweet at all, but uh, it's smooth, as you can see here. Nice smooth sauce. A little bit of texture like I like it. It's not runny, nor is it pasty. Beautifully put together. Nailed the proportions here. Can't do it much better than that. They always have nice slices ready to go. There we go. Cup and char pepperoni. Looks like a barbecue chicken. Plain cheese. Some stromboli. All right, here we go. The original stromboli. Looks like it's big enough to feed an army. Curling around the box there. Double sauce. All right, let's grab this one. It's hot, hot. A little cheese pull there. So we have ham, salami, green peppers, mushrooms, cheese, pepperoni. I'm going to bite it right in there. This thing's packed. Ooh. Nice proportions on the stromboli. The key to a good stromboli is like, don't kill it with cheese, but plenty of cheese inside. Good distribution of toppings throughout, so you get something in every bite. Crispy golden brown outside. One thing, though, that a lot of strombolis, they're not cooked inside. You can see this thing still piping hot. Cheese melted all the way through. That is critical to a good stromboli. And I do like, a lot of people like the rolled stromboli. I like it like this, a folded stromboli where there's no raw dough in the middle. You can see the dough is fully cooked all the way through, along with the cheese being melted. That's a delicious boli now. Got to get the old sauce dunk. Very vibrant marinara sauce. A little, a little bit sweet. Contrast the saltiness of the ham and the rich and the saltiness of the meats nicely. Guys, this one's a winner. I can see why it's one of the more popular items on their menu. All right, guys. If you don't know, this guy is an expert dough spinner. It's I mean, I'll just leave it. Can you see why people like coming here? And when did you start twirling dough? And when did you start learning to do this? I've been making pizza since I was like 16. Uh huh. But when the spinning part did come to like four years ago, probably. I noticed like you're pretty viral on TikTok a lot. Has Sometimes. Like, does TikTok do anything for the business or is that more of like national worldwide stuff? That's just national worldwide stuff. So you're a big deal overseas then? I guess. <laughs> No, man, Adam, it's been a long time since I've been yeah. down here. We were, it had to be over a decade ago when you won Pizza Madness, yeah. right? Yeah. Um, but we came down, you had me down, and Tony Saramelli were judges for that uh, Pizza Mania competition. Oh, yeah. yep. That was a lot of fun. What are your most popular items on the menu? 
Our stromoli, you'll see that later. Sweet sauce has been a big one lately. Mm -hmm. Cheese pizzas fly out the door. We have a two for 24 deal that with no toppings, just two pizzas and they fly out the door. Two for 24. Man. So sometimes it's 24 yeah. bucks for, or for just one pizza. Yeah, right. Now, yeah. Um, the sweet sauce, like that was like a Luzerne County thing for a yeah. while. And then like Dunmore had it in yeah. Lackawanna County, but like it's coming around uh, everywhere. What do you think? I just, we were looking for something to make. January and February pick up. They're a little slow, uh -huh. so we just tried something different this year. Yeah. Is that the, the one with the swirl on it there? Yeah, or? I mean, that's an upside down, but that's the exact same. That's the way it looks over there, too. You, so, you yeah. do swirl it on yeah, top, though, with the sweet? The yep, for the and sweet. What's, what would you say regular sauce versus sweet sauce now is your kind of percentage, would you say? Is it? Uh, it's like 30% sweet sauce. Oh, now. wow, yeah, that much. Wow. Quite a bit, yeah. No kidding. Mm -hmm. So that's cool. You're always doing something innovative here. Trying. So, yeah. Yep. And the place looks great. Like appreciate it. The little pizza shop that could looks nicer every time I see it. <laughs> That's a good one. I yeah. like that one. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. What are some things that people that, that maybe haven't visited you yet should know? Or like what are some items that they should try if they stop down? Uh, we got broccoli bites. That's a pretty popular item. Huh. Our fries go really good. They're a crispy coat fry. They're uh -huh. pretty popular. Uh, we got hoagies, salads, crispy chicken salads, fried chicken salads, you name it. Got it all. Cheese steaks. We get Cheese steaks made right here in Berwick mm -hmm. that uh, cooks meats. Oh, okay. So it's so fresh meat coming down. Cheese steak. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Our flour here is actually made over. There's a flour mill. You can kind of see the American flag. Some oh, of the trees grew up, but there's a okay. flour mill like two blocks away. And that's okay. where we get all our flour and stuff made. So, And you're going to give me the recipe after mm -hmm. this then? Okay. Sounds good. Very good. That crust was fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, it was great. Tender, crisp. Yeah. You put it's in a good color, meat, so it's a little different. It's not exactly like your all trumps or anything like mm -hmm. that. I think the bag that I I took a bag off during COVID or a tag off during COVID because we were struggling to get flour, mm -hmm. and I ran over to the mill. And they were like, "Yeah, we can make that." Well, I appreciate you having me here today. It's been a while. It has appreciate been a while. It. All right, guys, what a classic visit! Just absolutely love the place. Huge part of the community down here. Love to see Adam twirl on that dough like that. And the pizza is just delicious to the extreme. If you live in Mifflin, you probably know about it. But this is worth a drive. Stop on by Mifflin Pizza in Mifflinville.